Okay, so what we're doing is right here is our, our three foot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, you okay, Joe? I was playing around. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You want me to see something funny so you can get a thousand views, right? Yes. And somebody can win a thousand bucks and I make it. <laughs> we ain't gonna happen, Jorge. I have no comment. Okay, we got our string line up here. All we have to do is follow the height of our string line so that way it's, uh, we get the continuous three feet. We got our, our rails up, our height of our pickets. We transferred it to the side. So all, that's all, we, all we have to do is butt it up to the height of it and it's straight all the way down. I am putting sealer on these uh, two by fours. It's not a stain, it's just, just a sealer. It's what the client wanted once. These run across the fence post and then the pickets get screwed onto these. How's that working, huh? Love that, didn't you? Doing beautiful. You stop and think about it. Everything you want is usually bad for you. Yeah. Can, I know? <laughs> Can you elaborate? <laughs> Can elaborate? Okay, so so what I'm trying to say, like everything I want in my life, whether it's drinking, whether it's going out and partying, I don't want what I want for me, but I want what God wants for me because I know it's better. So it's self-inflicted, like I always say. Usually that inner voice, like I was telling you, that tells you like you, what you're about to do is wrong is usually right. Because then you wake up in the morning with an illegitimate kid with some girl that you don't even like. Um, I think right there probably be the best. A regular chain link fence gate. We did got some C channel and we put some two by fours in there. All nice and stacked. Our uh, master fabricator Aaron came down from Roswell, put it together, and it looks awesome. <laughs> Putting the final touches on. Making it look nice. Nice and professional. This is where it comes to quality, quality over quantity. We, we enjoy doing our job, so we do our job right. Even when there's a 100 pound dog that's about to eat us. Yeah, maybe 75, huh? Mm. I'll be a little snack. I'll be the whole buffet for you, Bubby. See what you're doing. Staining. As you could tell, staining is not my forte. But we're no, it's not actually a, a stain. It's a sealer. It's a sealer to protect the wood from uh, from weather damage. You know, rain, the cold, the snow. Give it a layer of protection so expand the life of the wood so it doesn't rot or warp or you know. We're using cedar, so it's a pretty good outdoor wood. But this will just give the the fence more life. How much life does does it get? I don't know. Let's read. Oh, well, this thing says four years. It gives it four years protection, six years. So I'm assuming every six years you'd probably have to reseal it. I, I wouldn't know how long a piece of cedar would last out in the weather. Let's see, hey Joey, how long does this wood last out here? 
How long will the piece of wood last without being sealed? Without being sealed. Stand straight all the way through the top and you're good to go. Just like that. And I gotta straighten this corner out that way it's just not hanging with a couple of uh, 45 degree angle cuts so that way it's a little more sturdier compared to just butt it up okay I'm gonna put this to reinforce the corner since it's gonna be floating I want it to be as as tough as possible so I made some 45s at the angles, so that way it's a little more sturdier than just regular, regular bolts. Alright, so a big part of of me running the job smooth is, you know, getting the right amount of materials. A lot of times the guys will just go buy a whole bunch of stuff and it's, it's left somewhere, it gets lost, it gets thrown away. And with every purchase, that's money that we're taking from the company, you know. So I like to be exact at what we get, you know. So I'd rather get a little less, that way we don't have extra, then we, gotta, we throw it away or it gets lost or whatever the case is so we're short two pickets so we're coming to home depot to buy those two or take them to the guys and and get this job wrapped up sometimes when you send the guys to get stuff to get the wrong stuff i don't know if i didn't explain myself correctly at that point in time but there's no sense in making double trips or buying nonsense That's it, that's all we need to complete the job.